Hey y'all, so I'm Zach. Uh, you know, I normally do grammar videos, but today I want to do something a little different. I made a big purchase, and I've got some strong feelings about it, so I want to put a review up here on YouTube. So, if you saw, while I'm walking and rotating around, there's a kilt in the background. I ordered a kilt from sportskilt.com. Uh, you may have heard them. Heard of them. They're a pretty big company as far as making kilts and uh, being able to order them online. So, let's start with customer service because that was a shit show in and of itself. By the way, uh, because I normally do grammar videos and I do get a lot of students uh, who are studying for SAT, ACT, things like that, let me forewarn you, there might be some cursing in here. Alright, so with that forewarned. Alright, so as far as customer service goes, I, I ordered it July the 3rd. That's a Sunday. So I knew it wasn't going to start being made until that Tuesday, July the 5th, because obviously July the 4th is a holiday, uh, and they're not working on Sunday. I know what a business day is. Three to five business days. That would put it at that next Monday, which means, you know, if it took them all the way through the five business days, it might ship out on that Tuesday. So, because uh, obviously that goes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday. That puts it at five business days. So, yeah, I... Uh, I emailed them on the 3rd, just finding out, uh, it, it wasn't even really related to it, I was trying to log on, and for some reason it wasn't working, and I said, by the way, if there's any update on my order, could you let me know about that, but mainly this whole other issue with the logging on to your website. And uh, when he emailed back, didn't really address the issue of the logging on, uh, I, I guess I logged on as a guest and that was the issue. But then he said, yeah, your order it should be completed soon. It'll ship out within the next couple days. Awesome. That puts it right within their time span, three to five business days. So uh, business day six rolls around. Haven't gotten an email. It's right around noon. I'm on the way to work. Uh, I am a, uh, a tutor, specifically a grammar tutor. So uh, sometimes it doesn't start till later in the day. So I give them a call. I'm like, hey, just wondering, uh, the, the email said it should be shipping out pretty soon. Wonder what's going on. The guy who picks up goes, oh, yeah, yeah, everything's on schedule. Everything's fine. No issues at all. It'll ship out later this week. Right, hold on. Those things don't add up because it was the end of the expected due date or due time yesterday on Monday because I called on Tuesday. I'm like, it, it should have been done yesterday, latest shipped out sometime today. It should be done now. So, no, no, it'll be later this week. It's three to five business. I'm like, yeah, I know what a fucking business day is. And that was up yesterday. Um, I almost would have wished there was a problem, because at least that I could have understood. Like, oh, this state's having their Highland games. And that's, uh, you know, that that's really putting a serious strain on our workers. I get that. We're all really hung over from the 4th of July weekend. I get that. But we're just slow. Sorry, we're just being really slow, there's no excuse. Alright, hey, shit happens. No, everything's fine, it's on schedule. Really? So yeah, uh, there's my customer service issue. That, I'm giving like a 4 out of fucking 10 right there. Uh, cause it's bullshit. So, let's, uh, let's get onto the product. I'm gonna flip this around real quick. Alright, so... Here is the product. You got a ghillie shirt. Fucking see-through. That means that in this hot Georgia heat, during the Highland Games, uh, which here are in October, it's still pretty hot in October, um, or, let's see, uh, Dragon Con in September, or Renfest, which actually happened... Two months ago? One or two months ago. I think it was two. So, yeah, it gets really hot. I don't want to have to wear an undershirt with that. I shouldn't have to wear an undershirt with that. That's ridiculous. But unless I want everyone seeing what's going on underneath the shirt, which I don't necessarily want, yeah, uh, not fun there. All right, flashes. Nothing wrong with the flashes. They're fine. The Gillybrogue socks. I mean, I don't have Gillybrogues, but, uh, I mean, the socks, they're nice, they're soft, they're comfortable, they're socks, they're fine. The Spiran. Let's talk about that. I don't know if it's pronounced Spiran or Spiran. I'm going to pronounce it Spiran, because I imagine that's how it's pronounced. I could be very wrong, though. Alright, it's made out of leather. As you can probably hear, 
that's sort of hard leather. It's not the nicest leather, but seeing as it was $200 for the whole package, not a big deal that it's uh, not the nicest leather. $200 is about what you'd expect for one really nice leather piece. So the fact that this was included in a whole set, yeah, not expecting the nicest leather. Um, it's not bad, though. Tassels. I wished there was an option without the tassels. Just because when you're walking... Now times that by three. All three of them just... Yeah, sort of annoying. Um, now, that I, I knew was going to be an issue, so I can't really count that as a negative of the product. I knew that was going to be an issue when I ordered it. Um, I just wish there was a way to get it without the tassels, and I can't take the tassels out without tearing the bit up. I'd have to actually cut the leather in the back, which means if I ever wanted to, I could never put the tassels back on. Um, and then, of course, there would be three holes in, in it. Yeah, um, and then, of course, the chain that connects it. Nothing wrong with that at all. Alright, kilt pin. This is probably actually my favorite bit of the whole order. This kilt pin. And not even because I use it on the kilts. It's because I use it with my great kilt. Which, uh, if you guys know, it's basically just six yards of blanket. That, uh, you, you fold up, or you pleat. Uh, you lie down, wrap around you, you stand up. And then you put a long bit over your shoulder. Yeah, um, this keeps that bit over your shoulder together. Now, you are supposed to use it on... Um, I, I haven't had an issue with it yet, though sometimes I do add it on just for decoration. I've worn it three times, um, and that that bit of info is important, and you will see why in just a minute. Um, so yeah, nothing wrong with the kilt pin. Sorry, my fingers keep going in front of the camera. I'm not used to recording with my tablet. Um, sorry about that. Alright, big yellow sports kilt emblem. Yeah, not a big fan of that. Wish there was an option to not have that on there. You know why? Doesn't fucking match. Like at all. Not at all. Alright, uh, maybe if you are McLeod of Harris, might be McLeod of Lewis, but I believe it's McLeod of Harris, is the bright yellow tartan. Maybe if you're McLeod of Harris, that's fine, because it matches perfectly, and it would just blend right in. Not a big deal. On the black watch, not, uh, not exactly blending in. Big frickin' eyesore. Now, I knew that was going to be there. I can't really complain about that too much. I knew it before I ordered it. Figured I'd just deal with it. But I wanted to mention that issue. Alright. Now, the Black Watch Tartan. Uh, one of the most well-known tartans. Probably the most commonly seen. It's a, it's a regimental tartan worn by... Ooh, I, I can't remember exactly. It's one of the, the Scottish regiments of the, the Queen's Army. And, yeah, it's, uh, it's well-known. It's a, it's a nice-looking tartan. It's a good tartan to wear if you don't know what clan you belong to, or if you're like me and you belong to many clans and don't know which one you would hold the closest affiliation with, or also, like me, if, you, if one of the clans you belong to, you don't know which sect you belong to. Like for McLeod, which I mentioned earlier. I am part of Clan McLeod. Um, way, way back, but nonetheless, uh, McLeod is in my heritage. I don't know if it's McLeod of Harris or McLeod of Lewis, and they wear different tartans, so, uh, yeah. If you're not sure which tartan to go with, it's a good neutral tartan, it's a good one to wear even if you're not Scottish, even though there is sort of a sordid history about its background, um, so I'm sure that there are certain clans that would never wear this because they were, or at least their ancestors were... Uh, at the hands of a certain slaughter. You guys can read all about that. Read the history of the Black Watch. It's interesting. Um, let's get to the actual quality of this kilt. Alright. Uh, first off, belt loops. Not traditional. Uh, they came included, though. And, you know what? It, it's actually kind of nice if I want to wear a belt. Because uh, it's a little too big. But that's an issue we're going to get to in just a minute. Um... Now, for those of you who don't know, there are two different ways of pleating a, uh, a kilt. There's pleating to the... I want to say it's called pleating to the bar. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but I believe it's called pleating to the bar. So basically, once the pleating starts, it's just a long line going straight through. There's also called pleating to the set, with th which this is an attempt to do. 
It's the most common form of pleating, and it's where once it's pleated, it basically looks as though the tartan never stops. You know, it look almost as if there is no pleat there, and it's not extra fabric underneath, but it's just a continuation of the fabric, uh, with you know the the bars going either way. This is an attempt to do that, and a shoddy attempt at that. Look at this. Do you see that? Do you see where the sewing is? Right. Oh, sorry. Right along here. That sewing. Yeah. You see how the bars are there? And then on the next set, the bars are a little higher. Also, it's a little off, so you can see the set behind it. Well, guess what happens when you pleat downwards on something that's basically a skirt, so it sort of curves. Oh, yeah. It gets exponentially worse as you go down to where when you get to the bottom, look at that. The set is nowhere near where it's supposed to be, and it, there's a third fucking bar there. That's not done to the set in the slightest. That that's horrible. That's that's shoddy workmanship. That's really shoddy. And of course, that all comes down to the fact that there's a slight elastic band up here, which crinkles the material. And you could tell that they put this in before they sewed the pleats, because that is what would have offset the the set. If you pull it in here, that means it's going to go wider as it goes out. Well, what you should do is sew down the pleats first, make sure it's done to the set properly, and then put in the elastic band. And you could say, well, just don't sew on the pleats. But that was included. Not to mention, it's kind of nice not to have to re-pleat it every time I wear it. Because um, this isn't wool, so the pleats don't hold as well as they possibly could. The sewing down is nice and sort of needed. Oh, uh, but let's talk about that sewing. Do do do. Where is it? This one? Yeah. Oh, the sewing's coming undone. I've worn this thing three times. I've washed it once, sewn it, uh, and, sorry, worn it three times. It's coming undone there. It's almost completely undone there. Look how low this is. How freaking high that is. It's almost entirely undone. Worn it three times, washed it once. That's ridiculous. I... And then it's too big. I measure myself the way they told me to, right underneath the navel, and that's where I wear it. I wear it where I measured it. And I, I came in at the lower end, not the lowest end, the lower end of their extra large. So you figure lowest end should be... Oh, there goes the sprawn. Um, the lowest end should be about this last hole. The lower end should be about there. No, no, no. I'm at the last hole, and it still slips off of me. So I need to pull the Velcro tighter. Uh, which, by the way, very traditional, this Velcro. Um, so, but when you pull the Velcro tighter than it should go, that means it doesn't line up properly, and it bulges out. So I have this big bulge right right here on the side of my hip where the, the frickin' buckles are peeking out. Or, it's, mm, it's as though they don't care. It's, it's like they don't even care. All right, so we, the Sperron is well, on the floor now. It, it's not wide enough, or deep enough, I guess. You see my wallet, sort of, in there. You see my wallet? Yeah. It's not a very thick wallet, and it takes up the entire space. So that means when I put my keys and my phone in there, I can't close the sprawn. I can't actually button it. Hi, kitty. I can't button it. Because it, it, it bulges too much. Now, you could say, well, put it in this little included pocket here little pocket, really just big enough for your phone. Uh, but look at where that's located. Right there. You notice where that is? Yeah, right in the middle of the front apron. Right above your crotch. So if you have anything too thick in there, it freaking it, it bulges. And it's clearly not a natural bulge, so it almost looks like you're trying to pat it or something. Like, look bigger than you are. It, it just it looks ridiculous. And it's not comfortable, because if you walk and you've got this big thing right in front of your crotch, yeah. Not, not freaking comfortable. It should have been off to the side somewhere. I... You know, I was completely willing to let the customer service issue go by the wayside and look at the product completely objective. And I am. I'm looking at the product completely objectively, and this, it, it's, it's crap. It is shoddy worksmanship. Especially when they took three extra days to do it. 
don't buy sports kilt. Do not buy sports kilt. Don't buy sports kilt. Take that extra time that you'll end up having to wait anyways, and a little extra money, and buy a real freaking kilt from Scotland where they, they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's going to take longer. It's going to cost more. But you know what? It'll be traditional. It'll be wool. It will fit. And it will be nice. Don't waste your money on sports kilt. It's a crap product with crap customer service. Um, yeah, so there's that. That's my review of sports kilt. Go ahead and uh, if, you, if you have your own issues with sports kill, or even if you if you want to disagree with me, go ahead and comment in the bottom. I know if you disagree with me, you're going to do it anyways. So yeah, go ahead and do that. If you want to do another grammar video next week, I know I have not done one in a very long time. Um, I've just sort of gotten off of it. Uh, n no one is really watching, but I think I'm going to start going back onto that. If you want a grammar review, a uh, grammar lesson, let me know. Comment in the bottom. And, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're a student studying for SAT, ACT, let me know if you're having any trouble. I will do a video on it. It's, uh, it's what I do as a living. So, it should be, uh, should be a good video. Should help you out. Um, and if it doesn't, hey, not too much of a waste of your time, I guess. So, alright. There's that. Um, I guess that's it. Peace.